right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. What we have here is some shrimp Alfredo. Real simple, and it's real delicious if you, you know what I'm saying, apply it the right way, plate boy. Real simple. I got some butter, got some medium shrimp, got some homegrown tomatoes, and got seasonings, fresh garlic, and, you know, some, some garlic salt, you know, just for that little more kick to it, and some seasoning salt. Real simple, man. Oh yeah, and of course, Roasted garlic uh, Alfredo sauce. Alright, meet y'all over here in a minute after I get done cooking this shrimp together. How? What you wanna do, right? Hey, what, what you wanna do? You wanna cook these shrimp till they turn a certain color and when they start to curl all the way up and they gonna shrink a little bit. They shouldn't shrink all the way, you've done it too much. Got my water together, get my water ready. And I'm just using some regular egg noodles, okay? But like I said, you just cook this together, you just cook this until the uh, noodles start to curl and turn pink. All right, all right, it don't take that long, you know what I'm saying, for that shrimp to get done, you know what I'm talking about? Because once they start turning dark pink and start curling, because y'all want to cook it all the way because it's going to finish cooking in the sauce. So boom, after that shrimp is ready to get get, get whipped up, go ahead and throw your Alfredo sauce on there. I'm just going to use one one jar because I'm just going to do, you know what I'm saying, a small bag of shrimp, two people, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, yeah, one jar of shrimp, I mean one jar of uh, Alfredo sauce, all right and when you put that alfredo sauce on there throw your season on there you can do you can put as much season on there as you want you know what i'm saying to your taste but i would suggest you start light once it's cooked through taste it and add as needed capiche capiche what ain't boiling real simple, real simple sauce done shrimp done waiting on the water to get done get them noodles ready done and then we're gonna show y'all what i'm gonna do with this and I might go ahead and throw this on there, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell you all my secrets. What else I added in there? I can't give you all the secrets, man. I'm a holler. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is the final outcome. But I'm taking a step further. Those homegrown tomatoes fresh out of Martin's garden. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna let them steam. And those are fried shallots right here. Fried shallots, same thing as fried onions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this lid on top of this for about 10 about 10 minutes on low. It's on low. Boom. So I'm gonna let that do that for a minute and then it'll be done. I want them I want them tomatoes to get nice and juicy once that steam hit and make it all swole a little bit and it's juicy. And that's done dada. And that's the end of it, baby girl, baby boys. I holler.